Okay. All right, so I tried to record this video like a couple different times, and I always end up starting a video, and then I go back and I start it again and start it again because I always mess up the intro and have this weird thing where I tongue twist my words when I start off a video. So we're going to hope that that does not happen with this take. Even if it does, I'm just going to keep it in. So today's video is going to be talking about the mid-20s crisis. I'm 26, soon to be 27. I see a lot of people around me that are my age, and even if no one admits it, like even if people around you don't admit it, People in their 20s, mid 20s, even 30s, 40s and 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s don't know what they're doing. The mid 20s crisis is this illusion of things happening around you. You think other people have it figured out and you don't. You might see somebody starting a family or getting married or just got promoted at their job. I think societal pressure in your 20s is way higher than any other point in your life and to ask someone who probably doesn't even know what they want to do in the next year to figure out the rest of their life is super unrealistic so if you're in your mid-20s and you kind of feel like you don't know where you want to go you don't know what you want to do maybe you're not where you want it to be know that you're not alone in that one really amazing thing that has come from getting older for me and moving through my 20s is you care a lot less about what people think and it's because you realize there's like this finality in life you realize that you don't have forever it makes things a lot more meaningful and a lot more crucial and critical to just do what you want to do you know at the end of the day 100 years from now no one and i mean unless you're super prominent and you know like you go and change the world in some amazing way no one's probably gonna remember you and as harsh as that may sound to say we're all a blip on the timeline and what i mean by that is we often overestimate how much other people care about what's going on in our lives they might pay attention to what's going on in your life every once in a while but it's very fleeting like even if you do something stupid even if you you know upload a goofy video to youtube and somebody sees it they're probably going to think about it for about five to ten seconds laugh at it might share it with some other people and then like it doesn't matter it's back to what's going on in their life so i think when you you realize that and that you don't have to live your life for other people and that you realize that you don't have forever that's a really powerful thing and i think pushing 30 you really get into that groove you really get into that side of yourself where you can tap in and say hey look man at this point in my life i kind of had that period of trying to impress other people i had that period of trying to figure out who i am and who i was and what i wanted to do but now I've had some time to make mistakes. I've had some time to try some things. And now I have a better idea of what I would like my life to become. Doesn't mean you know everything, but you know a lot more about what you like and what you don't like than when you were 20 or 19. And kind of doubling back to society, there's a lot of societal pressure on 20 somethings about what we need to do and how we need to get things done. And I guarantee you, a lot of people in their 20s, including myself, make decisions based upon what society says makes sense right like when you're in your early 20s you know you party you have fun when you're in your mid 20s you should have your career going you move out you get your own spot you get a car when you're in your later 20s you get married you start having kids like there's this whole societal timeline that you know all of us have in our heads whether we want to admit it or not it's there, especially if you live in the US, it's there in your mind. And even when you're not trying to follow that timeline, it's always kind of ticking in the back of your head. You always have it. So you're constantly comparing your life to that societal timeline and saying, do I match up? And it's one of the hardest things to do, but you really have to take the time to sit down and ask yourself what you want. Maybe what you want out of your life doesn't match the societal standard for what you should want at all. And that's okay. One thing I realized is that for a long time, I never really questioned and never really asked myself what exactly I wanted and whether or not that matched up with the societal timeline or societal standard or societal norms. It's so important to do that because it's very easy to be on autopilot and do things just because you think you're supposed to. And that's probably the worst thing that you can do. Just doing things because you think you're supposed to or you think other people are going to expect that of you. Because ultimately, you can end up making a decision in your life that isn't for you, something that doesn't serve you. And that at the end of the day really was not something that you wanted. And I think it's so important to make decisions, whether it's your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, whenever it is in life that you actually want to do. So if you can sit down and ask yourself and say, hey, 
you know, do I really want to get married? Do I really want to have kids? Do I want to work a regular nine to five career or do I want to do something creative? Am I religious? Am I not religious? Like all these different things that are sort of just indoctrinated into us. One of the biggest lessons that I think you start to learn towards your 30s or late 20s is, and this is not for everyone, but you kind of get to a point where maybe, hey, when you were 20, you were 19, you were kind of broke. And most people at that point are kind of moving into whatever career they want to do. So you're starting off your career in your early 20s. And by the time you hit your mid 20s or your late 20s, hopefully, you know, you've been able to progress in a career a little bit. You're making a little bit more money. You have a little bit more of a nest egg. And the more and more money you make, the more and more you kind of realize that money is a tool to help you live, but it's never going to provide you with happiness or fulfillment. And if you get fulfillment from money, that's amazing. But to me, I realized the further and further I progressed in my career and the more and more money I made over time as I changed uh, positions and things like that, it was great. It was amazing. It allowed for me to do more of my life. I could go on more vacations. I could buy the things I needed and I wanted. You know, I didn't necessarily have to worry as much as I did when I was in my early 20s about, oh, like I need money for this or need money for that. And like, oh, I have to budget and I can't go out to dinner tonight because this, this and that. Um, and I'm very privileged because I, I understand that that's not everybody's, uh, you know, situation. Regardless of when in life you start to make enough money to kind of handle things, you know, um, you'll start to realize that the more and more you make, it doesn't necessarily provide you with fulfillment and purpose. Having something outside of you that gives you meaning is really going to make life so much more worth living as opposed to just making money. You know, making money is great, but if all you can do is just make money, I'm going to work, 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 make money, make money. Um, there comes a point where you can only make so much before you start to kind of feel burnt out and feel feel like things are meaningless, at least for me. So having something that means something to you is important. And if that happens to be <laughs> your job and your job is what gives you that meaning and purpose, that's great. But don't let the money itself become uh, the focus. And last but not least, the thing about my late 20s that I've noticed is just decision making and surety. Um, your brain doesn't fully finish developing especially you know the decision making section until you're you know in your late 20s early 30s now are there people who can make decisions and can make good decisions yes i'm not saying that you can't have good judgment even when you're young you definitely can but at the same time i think there is a whole another level of surety that you have once you reach your later 20s especially if you have a lot of different life experiences you're able to now speak from experience and that can be really important because now instead of just kind of guesstimating or saying hey you know i'm gonna just make this decision because this is cool in the moment you are now using evidence from things that have happened in the past or things that have happened to friends or family to make those decisions so the the maturity and the experience and the wisdom that you gain from your early 20s to your late 20s is something that you really cannot beat and it allows you to set yourself up for success in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s whatever so i think i'll end the video by saying this even if you feel like you're not where you want to be and you're 25 to 26 27 28 29 it's okay right like nobody has it all figured out nobody and when i say nobody even the person you have in your mind right now and you're like oh i know this person they have it. no they don't have it all figured out and don't let superficial things whether it's a career whether it is an instagram following whether it is you know just just these very peripheral things make you think that someone has it all figured out because even people with a million followers even people who have a great career even people who have a family and kids and all these other things everybody's just trying to figure it out and i think if you can kind of put your blinders on and focus on yourself and focus on what you want out of your life like i said asking yourself about what you want and then number two using your experience from your early 20s maybe your 20s weren't super productive maybe you didn't really do a lot maybe you didn't get into the career that you wanted to because you spent a lot of time partying or you spent a lot of time just twiddling your thumbs at home playing video games whatever it is like that's okay you kind of have to come to this point of acceptance and just say hey this is my life now this is what it is but i still have the opportunity to reinvent myself i still have the opportunity to do something different and as old as it might sound because to me 
30 was super old to me like when i was younger i was like 30 you're 30 that's, that like that's crazy 30 that's insane but the beauty like i said is at the end of your 20s hopefully you have a lot more experience hopefully you know a lot more about what you want and that just sets you up to create an amazing run for your 30s into your 40s and your 50s you're still young you know don't don't feel like you've you know the trains passed you by your 20s are gone and everything everything sucks now it doesn't the 20s are hyped for no reason everybody just says they're late everybody says you know it's dope you're gonna love your 20s 20s are cool the 20s are great but from my perspective your 30s offer way more opportunity you're more mature you know what you want you probably have better money you know better career all that so if you're watching this video and you feel a little down no, you're not alone. If you're one of those people who had it all figured out in your early 20s, mid 20s, let me know what you did. How did you do that? And number two, if you're one of those people who you're still kind of on the fence, you're trying to figure out what you want to do. You know, you're you're getting close to the end of your 20s and you're feeling the pressure. Let me know some of the things that you're thinking about, some of the things that you're struggling through. Let's have a discussion in the comments. Let's share our thoughts. Let's share our experiences. And I want everybody to know at the end of the day that you're not alone in this. If you want to check out some more of my content, I upload every single week. And if you want to listen to all of my videos or podcasts in audio form, you can go to Spotify for podcasts, which will be linked down below and listen to my podcast. I'm distributed on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, across a bunch of different platforms. So check that out. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.